You guys know the drill. Smash like for 500 days in modded Minecraft. If you're new to the series, I highly suggest to watch the previous episodes so this video makes a lot more sense to you. Link to the playlist in the description below. As you guys know, this is my hardcore modded series and this 100 days is probably the most craziest yet. What? Two crucial announcements before the video starts. This video was recorded on Twitch and we're having a huge stream on December 7th at 11 a.m. EST. Seriously, be there, we're going to the moon! Hey guys, what's up? What's up, Blaza? Have you heard of a mobile game called Raid Shadow Legends? Raid Shadow Legends? Of course I've heard of Raid Shadow Legends. It is the number one game, top three on the Google Play Store, and it's free! No way! Raid Shadow, Raid Raid Legends. Shadow, Raid Legends. Shadow Legends! Thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring this video. I know you guys have heard about this game, and there's a big reason why. I mean, just look at these graphics. It's better than most PC games these days. This game has already gotten 15 million downloads in the last six months. Soxer1, you got me interested. What's this game about? Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. There's over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize, including orcs, undead, knights, elves, and even more. There's 16 new champions added every month. Personally, this is my favorite champion because he's got the double axes and is able to brute force through anything. You can take those champions and fight through dungeons and even other players. That's right, you can even assemble a team and then even join a clan. You can join the Socks for One army by just simply looking me up. There's also progress missions, which is an easy way to get rewards for each mission. And the best part is that once you complete these missions, you get one of the best legendaries in the game, the Arbiter. The game is growing so fast. Look at this new roadmap they just added. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you guys there. It is day 301, and we are back where we started. Actually, just cleaning up the mess from the last 100 days. Like taking down this glass tube, which meant to be a cool little fun ride for all my cows. And I realized that I haven't spawned any dinosaurs yet except for this tiny bird. That will change the next day after I make myself a throne room. And I made sure to fill up these holes because what kind of Minecraft noob would die from fall damage? I finished up my throne room slash sleeping room but to be honest I didn't like the design that much. Even it being under the almighty Beanos and having some cool path going up to it, it wasn't fulfilling my dreams. It was day 303 and it was time to do some Jurassic Park stuff. The first step was actually getting these eggs to hatch because they wouldn't spawn inside my cage. I did my parental duty and I put them in a cage anyway. The goal was to portal gun them back into the cage because I knew they needed more open space in order to hatch. While I waited for that to happen, I named my sheep Jeb with a capital J. And of course I named my chicken Blob because I'm pretty sure he's actually a demon. And my plan worked. I had two dinosaurs inside a cage. And now I was gonna send them to a smaller cage where I can laugh at them behind a glass screen. <laughs> no way, I actually have dinosaurs in my dinosaur cage. Oh my God, look, they're sleeping. They're so cute. Well, the next day, I thought it was only fair to make more dinosaurs now because I wanted them to fight each other to the death so only the strongest would survive. I'm kidding. I meant they would survive in peace and harmony. And yeah, I spent the rest of the day just making more dinosaurs. Oh, and if you haven't forgotten, my workers' fish farms worked out perfectly because now I had food to feed them. Right in the morning, I learned that the fish farm doesn't give like enchanted books or anything, but instead it gives these loot chests. And what is that? Blob, please protect me. Blob tried his best defending me, but sadly that mob had those double swords, meaning I couldn't attack it. As I found out recently, these crates usually give good loot, but sometimes they spawn mobs. Beat him up, Blob. Beat him up. Beat him up. Before I went to bed, I made sure to check up on my dinosaurs, and oh my goodness, they grow up so fast. Look at them. Or maybe they didn't grow up. No, I don't think so. Day 306, I realized I actually have to finish making this cage bigger if I wanted to add more dinosaurs. I started with a giant outline of the cage itself, and then also filled in the floor. I was, though, running out of reinforced glass, aka glass that dinosaurs couldn't break out of, and I also worked all through the night in order to finish up the cage. And I did that all next day, too. And boom, baby, the cage was nearly complete. I just needed to fill it with glass. I made a dinopedia today, which basically told me that both of these guys are grass-eating Pokemon. Which is actually kind of upsetting, because I wanted them to be giant T-Rexes. But yeah, I spent the entire day repairing my armor with XP, because I had to go to the Nether! It was day 309, and you're asking, why are you going to the Nether, Soxer 1? Isn't it dangerous? It did not matter as long as I had Blob the Chicken to protect me. But seriously, I actually needed a lot of Nether Quartz in order to finish my reinforced glass for my giant dinosaur cage. You know what else is really funny? That I spent three, no, four whole days in the Nether. 
nether because you want to know why the quartz explodes when you mine it the pigmen have machine guns oh you thought exploding ores wasn't bad enough what about deformed cats that literally teleport themselves to you and then blind you or just have the entire mafia of demons and pigmen i was literally getting everything except for quartz i probably took over 100 souls at this point i was fending for my life at this moment there were so many mafia boys they kept on knocking me back and back i tried to build but no they yeeted me off the cliff i paused immediately because i thought i was dead but as you guys know i'm basically the strongest person alive so i got out of there without even a scratch also because of that moment i may or may not be permanently scarred for the rest of my life it was day 314 and i was back at my base i spent most of the day actually getting sand because now i had the nether quartz to mix with the sand in order to get the reinforced glass and while the glass was smelting i finished up the dino cage oh my goodness look how cute the dinos look when they sleep day 315 i noticed how amazing my storage system looks but the entire rest of the base not so much i started planning how i wanted to extend this cave all over to the rest of my base and i got to work i also removed everything on the floor that i didn't need anymore that also included my minor stations because i actually didn't need them here in my base anymore the next day i continued my beautiful green like covering decoration or whatever oh and i didn't forget about the dinosaur it just takes forever for the reinforced glass to actually smelt and this is how much i completed today and of course it was a blood moon so i had to work throughout the night at first it wasn't bad and then minecraft was like i'm gonna eat and delete you so i was out of there the next day was a lot more calm so i could actually finish my cave this side was basically complete but it did not have the same feel as my original portal room and lord have mercy these dinosaurs are massive day 318 was here and i guess it was time to put my workers to work i was gonna put them all outside to start working on a moat because i didn't want them inside anymore how are the workers gonna protect themselves if they're outside well good thing that you asked because i'm gonna make a worker that has a sword i needed a bit more iron but luckily i had this mega furnace that gave me a lot more iron boop boop what are these dinosaurs doing oh we shouldn't even look look away and now i have enough material to craft some swordsmen good thing that we made those fighter workers because now we can deal with the scorpion problem downstairs and of course a guard on top and yes style is very important oh now he's perfect i also had to destroy the miner's quarry because they actually found a water spot which is not good because the last thing we wanted was things to actually spawn in there day 320 and he was time to finish up the dinosaur cage i finished putting the glass on the big cage so now it was just time to release them and oh my goodness why are you mad i got out by the skin between my teeth i mean why are you mad sure i'm putting you in a cage but there's no need to be angry at me it got kind of difficult to move outside the cage because his head was so big and long it was like blocking my sense of direction but like hey the other dinosaur hasn't moved out from the smaller cage but at least the bigger cage is working i guess that's a success right oh he's out of the cage how is this possible there was glass there was oh, <laughs> oh my god how did he get out of the cage? I specifically made reinforced glass. Glass that is stronger than regular glass so he wouldn't be able to get out of the cage. Well, if I left tomorrow's problems to tomorrow me, my goal was to slowly push him over the- <laughs> He's chasing me again. Oh, oh, ah! Well, at least he's outside the base now. and He's not chasing me. Oh, great. Both of the dinosaurs are outside the cage that I specifically made for dinosaurs. When in need, always ask your Twitch chat because there's something called a safari night that's basically a Pokeball. So, I played Cop copyrighted music here so it kind of went like i want to be the very best like no one ever was dun 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 yeah that was it and i spent the entire next day taking out the smaller cage and i double layered all the sidewalls to make sure there was no way they could get through and for the moment of the truth we were going to spawn the dinosaurs back in run away and hopefully it works all right he hasn't broken through the cage and tried to rip off my head so i would say the cage is now successful day 323 and now that we have a working cage it was time to spawn in some more dinosaurs Dinosaurs. This one was supposedly a water dinosaur, and hey, look, it's so cute. Ah! It killed me instantly. Luckily, I did a pro gamer move and restored my last session. The only problem is that you lose several days of work, so yeah, my dinosaurs were still in the small cage. I'll speed run the next six days because I was just recovering what I lost, but I did make some changes. I ended up fully recovering the dinosaur cage and even added this cool redstone light thing that went all the way down. Wait, what? That took you a whole six days? Well, it's because this glass is as hard as obsidian. My first day back to reality, I noticed that I didn't actually have a doorway to get to my workers. I did a lot of research on what kind of doors I can make because there were hundreds to choose from. After doing some epic modded smelting and a little bit of modded crafting, we were able to make this magic door. What? It has no door animation? Not even the double doors have cool animation. Do you see the difference between these two doors? Look how amazing that door is on the left. Look at that animation though. At least it wasn't a complete waste because we learned how to make these magic blocks that look really cool. The next day I decided maybe we should just do something classic. But then it hit me. Why didn't I just make another 
another castle gate. We just simply right click and boom, castle gate. Now that is an entrance. Day 333, the first thing was actually making a bigger entrance because the bigger, the better. That looks pretty cool. The only problem with my giant entrance now that it was too close to my furnace. So I had to move everything over to the left a bit. It ended up actually looking pretty good. My dinosaurs were really getting big at this point, which was kind of a problem because that means I had to feed them more. On top of that, his giant head kept on blocking the feeding system. So I guess I just had to tame them, right? But that means I have to whip them and I was way too scared to get close. Eventually I grew a pair and I walked right in, but I was way too scared to whip them, especially this close to them. At least food wouldn't be a problem because they're both vegetarians. Someone put this on a top 10 list. This is the most satisfying thing in Minecraft. New day, new me. I was going to whip them up till they obeyed. I was whipping the souls out of these dinosaurs. One of them was fighting me back and oh, what? I tamed one. I guess some dinosaurs don't like whipping because they started attacking me. The long necky dinosaur died. What? No. My chat made me realize it was actually the other dinosaur that killed the long neck because he was protecting me because I tamed him. The next day I decided not to worry about the dinosaurs because I had one tamed now. I decided to check up on my workers who were making the moat outside and of course they were stuck. After rescuing them I thought I would whip them back into shape but sadly the whip was ineffective. Looking around my base I didn't know exactly what to do. I mean the cave was basically done. I mean we had to add portals and then of course we had the great beanos protecting us. Then it hit me. I needed an elevator to get up and down my floors really quickly. Today was elevator day. We just needed a little bit of ender pearls and a little bit of wool and boom, we had an elevator. I didn't know where to put it though. And on top of that, I didn't know how it worked. I mean, it was just a box. How is this supposed to be an elevator? After a lot of trial and error, I actually did it. I went from one floor to another by just jumping. This was actually mind blowing to me. I could go up and down as fast as lightning. Like, look at me. This is me trying to break my game by going up and down as fast as I could. Now that I knew how it worked, it was time to make it look pretty. The next day I just started to make my elevator room look nicer. My game did crash for some reason, so I did try to download more RAM online, but it turns out that's not actually a thing. I just made a temporary room where I could just walk up to the wall, teleport down, and when I'm done, I could just teleport back up. And I spent the rest of the day making some more dinosaurs. I realized I was still missing one elevator block all the way at the bottom for my workers, but now it's done, and look, I can go all the way up and down. Speaking about my workers, they caught a lot of these cages that sometimes spawn mobs. The usual mobs are no problem, except when it's that dragon thing what I can't even attack. But yeah, look at me go up and down. Look how cool it is. It is day 339 and it's time to go on an adventure. The first step was actually making something called duct tape that you can repair your armor with. My armor breaks really easily and I never had enough XP to repair it in time. After several attempts on trying to use the duct tape, I simply just had to right click it and it worked. It was really cheap so I could easily repair all my armor. I emptied out all my backpacks and I prepared myself for tomorrow. I'm back in the twilight dimension and it is time to destroy whatever cool bosses I can find. I spent about five Minecraft days in here and I retraced my steps to go even further beyond than I did last time. While going through the mushroom forest, there was an especially big mushroom. I'm talking like mushroom times 10 on drugs. It took a long time to get to the top, but I was hoping it was going to be worth it with a big boss fight. There isn't anything up here. At least getting down wasn't a problem. After moving in one direction, I did come across another castle. The best part, it didn't have any of those green particles so I could break right in. There were so many mobs and so many flying books like stop spawning. The fact that I could break things now, I took all those bookshelves. Those books were mine. Guys, I'm not joking. I seriously took every single bookshelf, like in every single move. There was probably maybe 600 bookshelves. I came across the boss room and I knew exactly what to expect this time. I beat him up so bad. I sent him back to his mommy. He's gonna cry a little bit. You gonna cry, little lich king? You gonna cry, little boy? One taps. Oh my goodness, look, it's Technoblade. It was really easy to get out because I could just break out and I continued my adventure in one direction. I probably walked like 5,000 miles at this point. And what is this? We came across something interesting. It looks like some sort of maze. I despise mazes. I was ready to build across of it and just take all the loot, but my Twitch chat convinced me that I should go through it like a man. This is epic. Let me take you. The maze itself was actually pretty easy. There was just spider spawners all over the place, but it was definitely worth it because we got melon seeds. After completing the maze, I did come across a new biome. It looked like some sort of swamp. There were clouds of bugs and oh my goodness what is that that is like a skeleton on a cow oh my god he's moving so fast stay back i went into the swamp anyway and now i can't see anything and my hunger is going down super fast it's all right it's scary make it stop please i saw those green barrier blocks again so that means i can't be in here until i do something else right next to the swamp there was another snake pit so you know let's just kill another green thingy <laughs> Well, and gun sound effects, boom, boom, boom. And it's dead, and it also crashed my PC, lol. It was day 346, and all I had to do was make some flex tape and repair my armor, and also get some food. This time in the forest, I decided to go in a completely opposite direction. What is that? I know this is a snow biome, but what is that? Oh my god, look at his face, oh, he's grabbed me! <laughs> I used one of my
my pokeballs to capture one for myself. I'm pretty sure I just found another boss area, but I really couldn't see anything, especially with all these green particles. I needed to find out why I was doing this. After doing some research, I learned that you had to kill the bosses in progression in order to kill another boss. I spent the entire next day just learning what I actually had to do. <laughs> if my research was correct, I literally just had to pick up this staff again and oh, look, all the bugs are gone. That staff was from the Lich King who I had to kill before I'm able to progress into the swamp. We were trying to find a giant hill, but instead we found like this fiery forest. Oh my gosh, that looks scary. I'm definitely going in there. Oh my God, I'm on fire. I had to kill a certain boss before I was able to enter into the fiery forest. The boss is supposed to be in a swamp inside a hill, but all I did was find mazes and more swamp. And would you look at that? We found it. We found the hill. This was a dramatic moment because I was searching for hours for this and look, it's right in front of me. Inside the hill, there was some sort of underground layer, but hopefully it wasn't a maze. I mean, anything but a maze. No, it's a giant maze. The maze itself was actually not that complicated. Ah, oh, what is that? It's a cow. What is this maze? There's literally humans with cow heads and axes. This is not okay. I came across my first chest and I was so excited. And what is that? I heard a pressure plate. What? It was a trap. It blew up everything. I lied about the maze not being complicated. It was never ending. I found another chest thing and I was being very cautious. And oh my God, it's going to blow up again. This is so sad. Can we hit 15 likes on this video? There were a ton of these cowboys. I mean, they wouldn't stop spawning. Well, it does suck for one. There was actually a spawner. <laughs> I found another chest and I made sure not to activate the tripwire and I just activated it. Why am I so bad at this? But luck was still on my side because I found another hole that went deeper. This lower level was even harder. There were like creatures that I can't even explain. Like, what are those? At least the chests down here weren't hooked up with any TNT. I found one mean mushroom. I mean, he didn't actually move much and he hit me twice, but like, at least he looked cool. Wait, what? He was actually the boss? of this place looking at my achievement tab it looks like he was and now the next step was to fight whatever that thing was i decided to check if there was any more loot oh my god there's bugs there's giant bugs yep i was done with that place no more i decided to go back to the fiery area because i'm assuming maybe this is actually the next place i can go to i was right but then again i was also super scared because this place looked like a place out of my nightmares i guess that this giant mountain thing was holding a boss and oh hydra hydra what are you serious right now you expect me to fight this thing oh look at that it doesn't even take range damage that's fantastic sorry for interrupting i'm having a 20 percent off discount on all my merch this includes socks just use code socks for one when purchasing from the link below it has three heads and they fire fireballs after a lot of mental preparation i just decided to yolo it i felt like he would just stop me if i went near him so i kind of just ran around in circles i fought dinosaurs i mean come on how hard is this three-headed dragon i mean he can't even hit me right now i was joking about that this is supposed to be 10 times harder is this cheating is this consider hacking and he's dead well that was way less dramatic than it should have been i portaled back home and realized wow we actually really need like a headroom to show all our trophies off day 354 and we were back in our base and I had to take the time to empty all of my backpacks and stuff. From our last couple fights, I felt really confident that we could take on more, so I decided just to just go back. The only problem is that no matter how far I searched, I just couldn't find anything. I even made a twilight map that should show all the locations of the bosses, but it didn't work. I guess we should start working on a trophy room anyway. Next day, and I decided I wanted to make this room big, so we had to start with a lot of clearing. I tried using this new magic block that we made recently, but it didn't seem right. I did know that I wanted some sort of glass floor and then some sort of liquid beneath that to have like an extra cool effect so i just started clearing out all the old stuff i continued the exact same thing the next day but i debated what kind of liquid do i actually want under the glass my first thought was a pool of blood that required a lot of rotten flesh sadly i had nowhere near enough while i was thinking what i was actually gonna put in here i had to clear out a little bit more during a blood moon i used a liquid called oil it looked really cool but it moved really slowly i wanted to work through the night but these mobs kept on attacking me i also tried this magic glass but honestly that didn't look so good on top of it the next morning i awoke to a giant leak in my base the oil was going all the way to the bottom layer i had to do an emergency patch job after trying it with glass as well i decided i didn't like this color at all and i was gonna switch to lava day 357 and i can already say this looks 10 times better getting lots of it wasn't a problem either because i had lots of lava underneath my base it still takes a long time though since i was able to repair my armor using flex tape i could use my xp now to enchant my items and i used 
use my pickaxe slash shovel to get a lot of sand because we were gonna make a lot of glass. And boom, you put the sand in this modded furnace and it will give us modded glass. While I waited for my glass, it turns out I can move blocks with my border gun. Like, how cool is this? Before I went AFK, someone told me in chat that I could make a redstone modded timer thing that would help the production of the glass. It's a block that sends out a signal every second. Putting the redstone clock on top of the faucets allow the glass to just keep being made. The next three days were Project Beanos! Oh, before we go into that, look how awesome this glass looks. See how it sinks all together? It looks so good. Back to Project Beanos, the goal was to be able to see Beanos when we were inside the throne room. So we had to clear out basically this entire side of the castle. It was a lot of blocks. I just realized this would be a very awkward way of looking at Beanos. Then a genius idea occurred to me. Why don't we make his butt his face? Some say my IQ even rivals the great Einstein himself. Well, let's see how he looks first try and oh my god, he's hideous. Attempt number dos. And wow, he actually looks pretty Beanos like. I mean, he's upside down, but yeah. I tried to fix him, but I think I just made it worse. <laughs> no? I left it up to my Twitch chat to decide which of these faces they want. And voila, the butt of Beanos' face is now shining down to us at the throne room. Day 362 and I still have to finish the actual hallway to the room. I found this really cool block that was a mixture of netherrack and stone brick and created like this reddish epicness. Yeah, it really matched the lava really well. It's definitely not there yet, but it's looking pretty good. I continued the next day making this sort of K pattern look to fit the rest of the base. I had to take a lot of trips to go get lava and I needed a lot more netherrack. Okay, I have this huge problem and I don't know how to fix it. So my nether portal returning from the nether doesn't get me back to my base. It keeps on making a new portal outside my old base. But these little problems aren't gonna slow me down from finishing my throne room. It's really coming together now, yay! I spent the next three days just getting lava to fill this place up because I had to fill in every single block. How many nether portals are gonna be created? There's like 15 here already. Just go portal me back to my base. Day 368, we had lava, we had glass, we had blocks. This place was really coming together now. I didn't know what blocks to mix it with, so I just continued with the same block. It still looks a little bit off right now, but the idea behind it looks really good. And boom, Beanos as well. And I used the rest of the day to get more netherrack because I decided that I wanted some nether brick. How many portals? Day 369. I thought it was a good idea to merge my cave with my actual trophy room. Just kidding. I actually spent five days on this because I wanted to extend the entire cave over everything. Making a cave-like structure ceiling is harder than you think. At this point, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of just placing in random blocks. And anyway, we just take out this block and hey, that looks pretty good. The only problem is that the only way to see Beanos is to go outside. See how everything was merging together? The only thing I was missing now were vines. Speaking of vines, I always wanted this type because it was literally gold. Oh, and if you were curious, gas are not very effective against military graded weapons. And we grabbed a lot of netherrack since we were here. The next day, I was just putting up some finishing touches, which mostly included putting up some lights. Pretty boring, right? But it was definitely worth it because now my whole base looked pretty well lit. Day 376, and I really didn't like the white outline these glass blocks gave. I had an idea by extending each glass block by two and then covering up the outline so then you wouldn't see anything. This was definitely worth it because now it looks like there's nothing there. Doing it on the other side though was much tougher because I had to work around a lot of things. It might as well do it for the trophy room as well because that would look so good. It was time to finish Project Beano so I spent the next five days getting as much netherrack as possible because I needed a lot of nether brick and a ton of this netherrack slash stone brick. The block that I've been using the most though was this hellish brick and I filled the entire throne room with it. Netherrack plus fire plus nether brick equals instant fear to anyone that walks into this room. Oh, and I'm sorry, I had to mute these clips because I was actually watching Rick and Morty on my desktop. <laughs> the room was basically complete and I couldn't be more happier with it. The entrance though, honestly, this was probably my best design. If you were wondering why I was so happy with it, this was actually my old design. <laughs> looks so bad. I wanted to have my bed here. That way, when I went to bed, I saw the great Lord Beanos, but honestly, I don't think the bed fits. Well, at least I can put the trophies on the wall so the room is actually doing what it was designed for. And I'm sorry, bed, you gotta go. It ruins the feel. Day 383, I literally had to break all my chests around my base and then move it all into my storage system. I played the series for well over a couple hundred days, and this noise still scares me every single night. <laughs> It sends chills down my spine. For the next couple days before we go on our big adventure, I thought it would be cool if we look up some modded stuff. Did you know there was over hundreds of different things I could do with an ink sack? I was also low on materials, so I spent the time keeping up with my workers and making sure they were all well fed. I also dug out a big section of our base, which will be very important for our next series if you guys want that. Oh, and you see this crafting recipe? I learned how to make a sawed off shotgun. Like this is straight out of doom. This is insane. It's day 390 and we're definitely gonna try out how strong this shotgun is. 
shotgun is. It's really weak. It took me three minutes to kill a whale, but it's extremely effective against girlfriends. This was the first time I was ever excited for a blood moon because that means there was going to be so many mobs. Oh, skeleton, you're shooting me. Ch -ch -ch Boom, baby. Even my sheep fought by my side. It was all well and good, especially since I didn't really take any damage. But the problem was there were so many enemy mobs spawning. Like, I couldn't do anything except for, like, being shot. These guys had chainsaws. I want a chainsaw. How could they have chainsaws? I think I just had enough, but there was an emperor scorpion, like, right outside my gate, so I couldn't even go home. We were getting near the end, and I didn't want to start any big projects. I wanted a red liquid to be dripping down from my throne room, but I didn't have enough rotten flesh. I looked up something called a bottle that should turn condensed blood into buckets of blood. But of course, the machine needed power to work. I didn't know where to put this machine, so I started clearing out some area near my workers. I tried hooking up the machine to a power source using wires, and I failed miserably. For now, I just lightened up Bino's face, and oh my goodness, he actually looks really bad. Oh no. It was day 395, and it was time to fight some big bad bosses in the Twilight Dimension. This achievement tab is really useful for letting me what I'm supposed to do next. So according to that, after beating the Hydra, I have to find some dark forest or something. The only problem was that no matter how far I went, I really didn't find anything. And the Twilight map that is supposed to show all the bosses' locations didn't work, so I just had to keep moving in one direction. Hope was almost lost, but then we came across rain? Rain in the Twilight Dimension? And it hurts me? The rain was annoying, but it wasn't actually doing any damage to me. Not even to my armor. However, there was a giant cloud in the sky, so I'm assuming that's where all the rain was coming from. What is going on? What is that thing? That kind of looks like me, and is that a giant castle? What is going on? My heart was pounding at this moment and i made sure to be very careful so the rain wouldn't like knock me off or something i don't know i can confirm that is me and he's wearing armor now like what is he trying to fight me and why is he so big this place is huge i had no idea how strong i was so i made an escape room just in case how is that me but giant version this is mind blowing maybe he's friendly oh no he's walking towards me menace like oh god i'm sorry i don't want to kill myself oh there's another he has friends he has friends there's three there's three what is this game? <laughs> There's a fourth one and they drop giant swords. This isn't crazy. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Socks for what I don't want to do this. You look so perfect standing there. I'm sorry. I have a giant pickaxe. Your argument is now invalid. This is so, 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 so cool. And we're just getting started. There's a giant castle. Not even giant. It's massive. It was really hard to get in here because there was like thorns everywhere and everything was like extra big. I'm assuming this is like a giant's world. The rain stopped damaging me though for some reason so that's pretty cool i think this was the entrance and it did the coolest thing it like vanished and then it like reappeared oh my gosh this is the coolest door ever i wasn't even trying to open the door at first i was trying to eat my steak it was a lot of the same rooms and the mobs inside were just those tiny little goblins our objective was trying to find the big bad boss but breaking these blocks were hard because they were literally stronger than obsidian according to the mini map that's the center of the castle in the biggest area so i guess we just go across this is definitely a trap there's like some sort of sign and barriers like what is this? This is, I'm dead. I'm dead. Final boss here. You win? What do you mean? There was no boss here. I realized since I'm doing this all out of order, then maybe no bosses spawn. I didn't lose hope yet because there were still layers beneath and there was some new mob spawning. This dude's literally a maze. I hate mazes. Epic door entrance, weird mobs inside. The mobs were really weak, but at least the doors were really cool. Wait, what? I can actually mine the doors and take them home with me? That's amazing. This felt like it would turn into a maze because it looked like it was just tunneling into another room. Oh my goodness. This already looks looks super trippy. The place looked really cool, but it was the same boxes over and over and these vegetarians wouldn't stop attacking me. I'm serious. They must be vegetarians because they actually threw seeds at me. The vegetarians were really weak, but they wouldn't stop spawning. There were so many of them. Like they wouldn't stop. One of these rooms would eventually have a staircase beneath, but there were so many of them that I had to check all of them. I finally found the staircase and I quickly portaled back home to prepare for a big battle. It was the big day 400 and I was ready to fight whatever was down there. I couldn't see anything except for a lot of blazes though i didn't know how to get down so i just jumped and it worked i was so pumped i killed all the blazes because i assumed after eliminating them all the big boss would spawn oh never mind it's just another sign man i should have completed the other challenges well it's definitely something to do for the next series so make sure to hit that like button good job on finishing the video you earned yourself four gold stars i've been really enjoying making these sort of videos and i also appreciate your support on them remember to be on my twitch channel december 7th at 11 a.m est we'll be flying to the moon also I'm having a 20% off discount on all my merch. This includes socks. Just use code SOCKS for one when purchasing from the link below.